You guys, look at this. It is so cool. So this is the Carrizo Plains, and I've been seeing this all over social media. It's about three hours from my house, so we're taking a drive. So if you're looking for a stop on the way to the monument, Taft has one of the most expensive bronze sculptures in all of California, dedicated to the oil workers. So after three and a half hours of driving, I'm just entering the National Monument. You can already see how many wildflowers are behind me. I think it's gonna be amazing in there. So we made it to the National Monument. Most of the flowers here are yellow, but you will see some blues, reds, and even orange. So that hill behind me is the overlook that I was just on, and this is the boardwalk that takes you around Soda Lake. So Soda Lake is one of the largest undisturbed alkali wetlands in the entire state of California and it's around 3,000 acres big. So this is the end of the boardwalk trail. I'm going to go across to the other side of the lake because there's a sea of yellow over there. So this dirt road we're on right now is similar road. It's on the east side of the lake and it's a perfect place for wildflowers. Pretty much the entire drive, you can pull off to the side of the road and you can see them everywhere. Do note that it is a dirt road. Most of the roads in the park are, but right now it was totally fine without four wheel drive. So I've finished the Soda Lake portion of the park and I'm going to take the Soda Lake Road about 18 miles south out of the park. It's a dirt road the whole way, so we'll see how it is, see if there's anything else to explore down there. So this is the historic Traver Ranch, but unfortunately it's closed to the public right now, so this is as close as you can get. 